Hello YouTube, Reseller and Mom here. Welcome to this video. I'm going to share with you my updated how I'm organizing my Amazon tasks and staying organized at work and what's working for me. I go through all of my business stuff in kind of January and in June, analyze my KPIs, see what's working, what's not working. And one of the things that is constantly a struggle is your reoccurring tasks with Amazon. There's a lot of things we have to do. There's ordering, there's going through products, there's deleting your old inventory, and it's overwhelming, man. So I have been on a quest for eight years now on, on how to keep up with that. And as my business grows and changes, how do I do it? Grows and changes with it. So going to share with you what I'm coming up with for the next six months and what's working for me. I have used a variety of software, both, you know, in my phone, in my thing, on a calendar, on a whiteboard, and I'm really liking this a lot. So I hope it adds some inspiration to you or, and, uh, you know, I, first up, I, let me say, I would love to hear how you organize. So if you have any tips or things for me to check out, leave them down below. I would love, love, love to hear them. This program was uh, shared to me with a friend, my friend Casey, and I tried for like a good solid month, the month of May, to like really just get away from my Trello board and use Todoist completely. And after several weeks of just button my head with it, I came to the conclusion that I really need two things. And I hate having more software than I need, but it, it became apparent that I can't, I can't really put them together. I use my Trello board for projects. I have in there a lot of projects. I can sort my day, but I needed something for reoccurring tasks because there are certain things every week that I got to do. And I just want to have something that I can check it off and do. And I am liking having Todoist for that because I felt those items just cluttered up my, my Trello board. Um, things like adding on a weekly basis, adding my small and light new items to the small and light program. It's a five minute task, but I need to do it on about a weekly basis. And in January, I went through all of those tasks with the Eisenhower four squares of priority and whatnot and and really hammered that out and I've been trying to find a way to systematize that that works for me so Todoist if you've never heard of it it is an like I don't know it's in a browser <laughs> what do you call that it's it's in the interweb in the internet and just go to todoist.com t-o-d-o-i-s-t -I, I use the free version they have a really detailed version, and I can see if I was somebody that did podcasting or a writer or did a lot of project management, diving in and fully integrating into this. It's got a lot of cool features, but I just need to know, like, I just want something simple. It's also on my phone, but I really struggled with the app on the phone trying to, trying to put things in. I felt the desktop was way more efficient. So this way I can come into work. I have my Trello and my Todoist right next to each other. I can look at my Trello and see what projects and what tasks are coming in. And then I can go over to my Todoist and see what little tasks are coming up for the month that are those monthly reoccurring tasks like pay my rent. Uh, yeah, I got to pay my rent every month. So I don't really need that over on my Trello board. And I don't really want it on my family calendar on my phone. Tina uses the, the calendar on the phone. Totally okay if that's what you want to do. That's what a lot of people do use the reminders and that. But for me, like if I woke up in the morning and let's say my rent was due on Sunday, it fell on a Sunday and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I know I need to do that. But if it's on my phone, I'm just going to swipe it off and go drink my coffee and have a day. But when I come into work, I sit down and I look at these programs. So it kind of separates my personal and my work a little bit. So that these stay on the radar, but they're not always in my face. Sometimes the phone things are all in my face and, and I need it not to be in my face. All right. Within the Todoist, I started with just a list of things. And then I paid a bill late because I put all my bills in here and I did not stay on top of it. And it kind of got filtered in. So I started using the priority in the last uh, week or 
whatever, we're on the 13th right now. So the last 13 days started using the priorities so that I could separate out in, in terms of importance. So my first priority is paying my bills. I got to pay my, my rent. I've got to pay some other bills and I want to make sure that I have those flagged. And I know right now my next one is due on the 23rd, 10 days out. I know it's there and I can just move on. And as soon as it gets a few days beforehand, I will schedule out that payment so that I can pay my bills on time. Next. Oh, wow. That blew up really, really big. My priority twos are things that are also kind of business related that are important. We run two bolo groups and at the changeover, one runs the 15th to the month, 15th of the month to the 15th of the month. And when we have people leave or people added, I got to go in there and just archive things and do some updates. It's really not a huge chore, but it needs to be done. I also have to pay our VAs on Thursday. I need to make sure they get their paycheck. And once a month, I need to pull all the paperwork for my CPA, which is today. That's going to be the next task after I finish my videos today. Today was a filming morning. So, you know, I need to make sure that that pulling the paperwork is, is on there. All right. My priority three is now going to be my replens. I started adding this in the last two days as I'm going through and I'm looking at uh, I've been using seller board and a combination of seller board, replen alerts on Amazon, etc., and kind of going through. And I want to get everything ordered on a monthly basis. And I, I have been sort of doing this, but having it a little bit more official that I peg a date that I'm going to order this stuff on the 12th, or I'm going to order this stuff on the 15th, I think will be more helpful for me to get it on a rotation and also spread that capital out. So you can do these. Um, it's really easy to say order blah, blah, blah on whatever the first of the month or weekly on Tuesdays. However you want to put it in, Todoist will put it in and then keeps track of it. So this one right here that says Tuesdays, every Tuesday, I want to make sure I put in an order to this store for my different replens. These guys are going to be monthly for the most part, but every once in a while, I've got a few that are going to be more, more weekly or bi-monthly. So just kind of going to spread those out. I'm working on this area right now. This week, I'm going to, my, one of my goals is to get this tweaked up and finalized by the end of the week so that I have all of the stores that I want to consistently order from in an order basis. And then my process, my system for that is to pull all of the items that I source from that store, go and make sure that they're still profitable, that they're running, see what my inventory level is, make my order and then be done, click it off my to-do list and move on to the next thing. I also have been creeping up on everything that I have a really good system in place with, you know, store XYZ, adding in one to two new items every month on those stores. And they're usually bundled items that I'm making. So it's not like I need to find, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a whole lot of retail arbitrage with these ones here. I have not added my retail arbitrage stores other than this one right here, I got to go add in my retail arbitrage stores the next couple of days. These are all wholesalers. Okay, priority four. This is why my bill didn't get paid or almost didn't get paid. I, I wound up calling last minute and being like, hey, <laughs> uh, I had everything kind of in here. And this is, is a little clustery for me, right? Um, I wanted all of those reoccurring tasks and I have a few more I want to add to these. I can't remember what they are, but I had a, I had a brainstorm the other day. <laughs> I was like, I need to add that. Uh, it will come to me. It will come to me. But I have on here optimizing my listings, optimizing my ad campaigns, removing old products from the US, Mexico, and Canada once a week. Be cool, adding new items to the be cool repricing, make sure my repricing set up, small and light products, optimizing Oh, there we go. So it's today and Thursday. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, I optimize my listings twice a week and my ad campaigns. I look at my ad campaigns twice a week. And on Fridays, I damage out my Amazon returns or whatever needs to be done. So you get returns throughout the week of whatever product damages 
And I have one day a week that I take that bucket. I have a bucket out in the warehouse and I take that bucket. And I go through my damaged out items and stick them in there. So I'm trying to think if there's any other reoccurring tasks, but as they come in, I can put them here and, and prioritize them accordingly. And the dates may fluctuate too. You know, I might get down to optimizing listing maybe only needs to be once a week instead of twice a week. Still settling into that and doing the fine tuning, but overall, this has helped me feel a lot more organized, especially with those replenishable things, those, those things that we have to do on a monthly basis, man. It's, um, it's hard to keep up on. And I could add other things in here, such as on Fridays, I like to clean the bathroom down and do the vacuuming and take out the trash. I don't know how nitty gritty I want to get down. Pretty much anything that just makes me money or keeps my business absolutely running, that's that's where these lists really are coming in handy because I want to make sure I stay on top of everything all the time. And that's exhausting. So that is all I have to share with you for that update on how I'm organizing that. However you organize it, as long as it works, that's what's important. It's kind of like diets. Whatever works is, is what works. It doesn't matter if it's a keto or low carb or whatever. If it's working for you, it's working for you. And I want to share what's working for me right now and hear from you guys. So if this helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel out. And if you have any other software or whatnot to share with me, I would love to hear about it as well. There's been so many cool new apps and things in this digital world that have come out. Tina shared one with me today, just downloaded it. Go watch her channel. She just came out with something um, to get, yeah, it does basically chat GPT on building your listings. If you do a lot of listings and we'll be sharing this in the bundle group too, which if you want to join the bundle group, that link's down below as well, but we'll be doing an in-depth on how to utilize this chat GPT thing that integrates into your Chrome browser and pulls titles and pulls keywords for you. And I'm like, Hmm, then I don't have to pay for helium 10, I think. So always looking at the new, the new and the cool stuff and trying to share with you guys where they can, but go check out Tina's video. She just put it out yesterday. Today's the 13th. I push my videos out a little bit. So whenever you're seeing this, go check hers out, see how that works. That's a new cool feature as well. Take care and have a great day.